good morning in the previous videos i have explained you about dictionary what a dictionary shows us in this video i will be explain you few types of dictionaries so let us see all dictionaries however are not the same depending on who is going to use the dictionary then information in it is arranged and presented in different ways do you know that there are different types of dictionaries let us look at a few of them first is children's dictionaries some dictionaries are designed specially for children they include only a few thousands words but there are many pictures and diagrams in children's dictionaries they may also be word games puzzles and jokes based on the meaning or use of words second pronouncing dictionaries some dictionaries provide only the pronunciation of words it is shown with the help of special symbols for example see here spelling of dictionary is given and in between two slanting lines here some symbols are given these are used for showing the pronunciation of the word third one is dictionaries of synonyms some dictionaries give lists of synonyms words which have a similar meaning they may also include antonyms or opposites synonyms means similar meaning words and antonyms means opposites so in this dictionaries we will get only synonyms and antonyms next is visual dictionaries some dictionaries contain only visuals or pictures they do not have to explain the meaning in words as the visuals speak for themselves the visuals may be in the form of photographs diagrams or hand drawn pictures they are all labeled see the simple visual given alongside here you can see it is a picture of a plant different parts of plants are given here bud leaves flower stem fruit and root so here all the parts are shown properly and does not need any kind of explanation in the same way even complicated machines or systems are made simple in a visual dictionary next is encyclopedia dictionaries encyclopedias are books that give a lot of information on a great number of topics encyclopedia dictionaries to give a lot more 
information about most of the words they contain. These dictionaries are usually quite thick and contain many more words than the smaller ordinary dictionaries. Computers and the internet have brought with them online dictionaries. They are very easy to use. You just type the word you want to look up and instantly you are shown its meaning, use, etc. You can even listen to the proper pronunciation of a word. A printed dictionary cannot do this. That means online dictionary gives you a lot of information. Its pronunciation, its type and meaning. Also, how this word is used in a sentence. Then, there are some dictionaries that show how a word was used hundreds of years ago. How its use or meaning or spelling change over the years and how it is used today. A dictionary is a must for student. You can begin with a simple attractive dictionaries and they learn to use the more difficult ones later. So, the next time you come across a difficult word, don't fret. That means, don't scare. Don't frighten. Just look it up in a dictionary. I hope you understand this lesson. We will meet in the next video. Till the time, Keep reading. Please read the lesson. If you like the video, please click on like button. Share. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.